So you know we're actually going through S-A-L-E-S. -E now we are at the A. A stands for ADR. Do you know what ADR is? Well, let me explain it to you. It is the power of negotiating. Interestingly enough, it is the number one thing that realtors have been hired for for the last 50 to 60 years. Our ability, our skill, our talent, our expertise in negotiating. And I don't know about you, but in my particular case, all the courses that I've taken through uh, ARIA or Korea, all of the RICO credit courses, etc., that I've had at this point in time, nowhere has somebody taught me negotiation. And I don't mean just touching on the topic. I mean full-on, hardcore, in the trenches, here we go, negotiating. So where do you negotiate? Well, we learn to at the listing or the buying table at this point. However, if you don't have a lot of turns at bat, where are you going to get that information? Are you investing in raising your game with your ADR? ADR is the term that's used at this point with lawyers at this point when they're negotiating, learning to negotiate and you know, work on settlements, etc. We don't want to live with just the basic situations that we learned in the sandbox, typically how we sell real estate today. And that is really simply, let's just split it. What we learned in the sandbox with a popsicle, we use today in technology. Oh, we're 5,000 apart. Oh, we're 10,000 apart. Let's just split it or let the agents pay for it. Well, I'm not interested in paying for it, but I'm also not interested in splitting it either. We're also here trained as professionals to learn how to negotiate. Now, does that basically mean I have to beat up on the people that I am actually working with to get what I want out of the process? Not at all. It is a complete science, art, and creativity of learning how to negotiate. There are some courses. There's actually a course out of the University of Windsor that actually launches an introduction to the proper negotiation techniques. But at $2,200, yes, with a bag of credits with it, it's prohibitive in our price and in our education budgets that we have set aside every year as realtors. So how do we negotiate or get better at it? Well, actually, you're practicing on a regular basis. If you have kids, a boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, ex-wife, etc., you're already negotiating. The challenge is, are you really looking at the diagnostics of your negotiating? Are you just getting upset? Are you getting frustrated? Are you getting um, sideways at this point because your emotions are stepping in? Well, that's one of the first things we need to do to mitigate our ability, our strength, our technique, and our expertise in negotiating. It never happens. Hot under the collar, you're doing it wrong. So, what do we talk about in negotiation? Well, setting it up. You know, some people call things like role-playing, role-playing. Well, that's not really the case. In this particular case, I'm going to use the analogy of Tiger Woods. He hits a thousand golf balls a day. Does he need to be a better golfer? No. Better husband, maybe, but not a better golfer. But he still hits a thousand golf balls a day. You would never hear him say, I'm role-playing. He's practicing. He's practicing his game. He's practicing his skill and what he actually gets paid to do. When was the last time you practiced? So let me leave you with this. You want to get better at negotiating? Set the stage. Put the pieces together. Sit down. Actually practice. Get people in front of you that you can negotiate with. Learn how. Read books. Get a course. Find out more about it. And I'll tell you why because when real estate becomes automated at this point and someone can go to a machine to list their property or to submit an offer at this point, the only reason they'll need you is to be a skilled negotiator. If you do not have the strengths, the credo that you are a skilled negotiator, it might be just yesterday's news.